just amazing because all you want for your, your children as a mum is just for them to um, to fit in and do well and achieve and, and you know, all these things it always seemed a long way off for Deanne but now they're, they're seeming a lot, yeah, the future for Deanne looking, looking so much brighter. Make him really big so he's so happy with you. Yay! What better cause than little heroes who are supporting our littlest Aussies, our bravest Aussies and little heroes themselves. How are you feeling? Bigger. Good job. Is that better? Well, it is cutting edge. The locomat's what we call a, um, uh, a robotic orthotic. What you see here is the future of muscle therapy, and it's what the little heroes plan to deliver with their latest project. Well, it helps children with neurological disability, so children such as uh, that might have a brain injury or brain tumour, uh, children with cerebral palsy. Tian has um, cerebral palsy. A quadriplegic cerebral palsy, so all four limbs are affected. Deanne is one of the fortunate ones who's had access to a private clinic equipped with a locomat. It's been brilliant for um, lots of lots of reasons. Her, her walking pattern is the, the main thing, her strength and, and all her muscles and also um, her posture, standing up straighter. But the little heroes will make the device accessible to all the kids of the women's and children's hospital. The um, technology comes with um, a virtual reality interface. So in other words, as the children are walking and putting more effort into it, they have an avatar in front of them, uh, which is walking. And you know, they, they, it's as if they're that person. And the legs can grow stronger as they put more effort into it. And they can do more walking and say, hit certain targets and jump higher uh, as part of the um, uh, therapy technique. She too loves it and she loves that she gets to watch Peppa Pig DVDs or the fairies DVDs or, or whatever it may be that they, they put up on the, on the TV screen to do while she's doing it. And the project doesn't stop with the Locomat. They plan to establish a whole unit devoted to researching robotic aids for children, led by Dr Ray Russo. This, this is a certificate of bravery, sweetheart. So the research unit um, is going to be established as a robotics and innovative uh, lab and it's going to be looking at um, not only the locomat but other robotic techniques and innovations to evaluate the uh, technology. For that, little heroes need to raise around four million dollars and with supporters like champion cyclist Anna Mears, they're off to a good start. I mean these kids face incredible um, challenge and um, that's why I was inspired to shave my head for the Little Heroes Foundation and the kids that they support because they face such serious and dire um, potential consequences. So far she's raised almost a quarter of a million but to go the distance she and the Little Heroes need your help. This just gets them back on their feet, it helps the, the families out in an immense way and I'm um, really proud to be a part of it. I'd say thank you to everyone that's uh, coming along to the slowdown for their donations to the Little Heroes Foundation for helping seriously ill children in Adelaide like my daughter Deanne. If the people can dig deep and support the Little Heroes it'd be really wonderful.